Hey all, Ryan here from Planetary Lapidary, and welcome to another episode of Reform Fridays, where I take rocks and fossils I find on the western shore of Lake Michigan, shine them up and make them look pretty. Here is the place I pull from for my Reform Fridays. Let's see. You know, I have all this stuff. A lot of this has been here a while, but I just cut this rock on last Saturday, and I really just want to shine the face of this thing up to see what this actually is. It's got this flash in there. See that? which might just be like mica flash or something, but I don't know what it is. It's got this blue and this red here, I'll get it wet. So now you can actually see what's in there. So I wanna face polish this thing. Um, hopefully it does take a polish, but it's almost perfect already. I'm gonna make it stand just like that. I'm gonna leave the back, I think, and just do a face polish on it and see what see what all shines up and what doesn't. It's got all these weird textures and stuff in here. So, I don't know, let's uh, let's do it up and see what happens. So we'll probably start on the 100 grit and get it get the bottom flat so it stands up and get the face flat and we'll go from there. So let's get grinding. Okay, so we are through all the discs. I did hit it with the cerium disc for just a little bit, just to see if it would take. So this is the back of the stone. So, you know, that you can see the flash right there in the black. So that makes me think, you know, the only thing I've seen with that flash is like coal. But I don't know that it, how it shines up and what, but. So anyways, that's the back. That's what it looked like raw. And then this is what we ended up with. So it actually did take a super weird shine. So if I if you watch in the glare, you'll see all the different hardness of all the different materials. And then right in the middle there, you still have that flash from those pieces. And then you can tell that that was much harder than everything else around it. So I really don't know 100% what that is. Maybe it's like magnetite or something. I don't know if anybody knows, leave it down in the comments. But I mean, the rest of this thing, like you can tell, so the green or like the bluish green material was definitely softer. You can see it didn't take quite a good as a shine as the stuff around it. And then down here too, there's this little green pocket that you can tell right there that it just didn't take a shine at all. So no idea what those two things are. Let's see if I can get some better light. You know, it's kind of dotty, maybe like a, maybe some epidote or something, but then you got all these red, agate kind of lines throughout it and these yellow over here and like plumy stuff and this crazy thing right here it's like a totally you know wouldn't take a shine as well so it's made out of that same green material but i don't know i don't know what it is 100 percent, but it is probably one of my favorite pieces that i've ever done even though it's not like a mirror shine it's just such a unique piece with so many different things in it all right so let's put her up on the shelf here see what it looks like standing up oh yeah I love that piece it kind of looks like a face now that you look at it from further away too <laughs> all right so if you like this video leave a like hit subscribe if you haven't already stay tuned for a couple close-ups at the end and we'll see you in the next one bye bye